your life can look perfect on a paper but what you feel inside is what truly matters if you come home feeling consumed and distorted every day then it is time to take a pause hello and welcome to rabai rashi foundation we welcome gayatri govind a beautiful soul founder at origami aapka bahut bahut swagat hai thank you rashi okay to start with gayatri share about brand gayatri govind and your and your brand origami uh, the word origa in latin means charioteer so someone who steers you through to where you want to be in life so i have this very um, indianized um, example that i would like to share like lord krishna is the charioteer for arjun and he infuses a sense of direction in him by becoming his charioteer even though arjun is the one who's controlling his life krishna is the one who's showing him the path so that is what is a coach a coach is someone who lets you take the reins of your life while enabling you to become what you want and everyone needs a coach at some point in life when i became a life coach i understood that uh, there is a point in everyone's life when they need some direction a small nudge so when you reach that point in life an origa or a charioteer can empower you that's brand origami and the roles that i play in life are so varied yet unified i'm the one doing the role of a mother the role of a wife and many other roles so all that comes together to give give me the sense of direction in my relationships in most of my relationships be it personal or professional i've been extremely curious about how people define their path and decide their choices so what exactly inspired you to begin with this colorful helpful venture and why did you start it let's hear that any person self care must be the top priority very often when we are taught to put others needs first we are not taught how it is to be done in aeroplanes we are instructed to put our oxygen masks first before we can help others right so that is the rule in life also and i learned the importance of self care the hard way when my son fell ill in 2017 our world was completely in a turmoil and as for any parent uh bringing him out was the first priority and after he recovered life slowly started becoming normal but that is when all the stress that was already built up just left me weak and you know weak mind leads to a weak body so that was the time when little problems started dropping up in life and that made me realize that it is time for taking care of myself so in our busy lives corporate or otherwise we forget to take a moment's pause and you know breathe busyness is okay but don't let it take away your right to self care so i aim to reach out to people and enable them to recognize the space within themselves that is the root cause of all the depression and the lifestyle ailments that is around us so prioritize self care and put it on as a strength to give others more and more of what you can do for them and i absolutely believe and by what she's saying that you have to take care of yourself no matter what happens so what services do you offer at, what services do you offer at origami let's hear that um holistic self care goes beyond just eating salads and looking good and putting on makeup and you know wearing good dresses it is about creating a powerful self image that exudes empathy joy benevolence and freedom so at origa me we believe in touching all realms of self care not just physical and mental but also emotional spiritual and social well being our vision is to transform society by empowering individuals especially in demanding fields like medicine caregiving academics where people just don't have time beyond 
the work that they do so by giving self care its due importance they can do their job much better than what they do uh for example a doctor who is more self aware and happy can be more compassionate and empathetic towards his patients than uh someone who is overwhelmed and stressed out and is just disgruntled you know i just want to just finish my job and get back to myself that's the difference that self care can bring in a person see there are many such life coaches mentors and available in the market you know people say that you come to us we are going to help you with many issues so why should people come to gayatri govind let's hear that we offer do it yourself self care solutions based on thorough introspection of your strengths when i began i started this as a self care service for women who are stressed in some way or those who want to find a more purposeful way of life however as i moved along i discovered that there's a huge gap in the way people understand self care how many of us go beyond healthy food or yoga or just mindfulness it's just one thing we are able to do on a on a daily basis combining everything is the key it is very important to combine these aspects to find true happiness to achieve a sense of purpose so our signature 5e program that's what i call it takes you on a deep journey within yourself to find and find your strengths and bring them out so that you can use them to your benefit last year amidst uh, tough covid times everyone was going through a lot of stress and even the smallest of positive changes helped people immensely uh during navratri we had launched a small program for women called true colors of navratri where we celebrated each day with a different color you know different colors are there for uh, each day of navratri so i took that and uh, then i also took a form of shakti uh, of the goddess and we had a small gathering and we had to adorn those strengths that that shakti as a part of our daily life how that particular strength can help us every day even though it was a small group of women they were able to come out and share and inspire and elevate each other to a great level and this is so sweet and taking live examples and live situations and helping people out this is absolutely wonderful gayatri ji any new workshops coming up now i am currently working on building a program for caregivers now a caregiver can be a stay at home parent someone who's taking care of a child with special needs or a patient who is bedridden or terminally ill or anyone taking care of dementia patients caregivers have a storm of emotions built inside them and they don't uh, they don't bring it out they don't want to show it to people because that will make make them look weak and or even selfish for that matter that guilt takes over so taking a small break may be the need of the hour but they may not uh, do that and they'll be compelled to carry on for so many reasons that they can count so a coach or an origa can give them that space that safe space where they can open up and talk their heart out and sometimes that's all they need you know to unlock their potential solutions that does that is already there within them that they couldn't think of earlier Okay so tell us how does being a life coach make you feel and what advice would you like to give to all those people following your footsteps Many people don't understand life coaching or they have many misconceptions about it so they don't uh, that doesn't let them reach out and open up Simply put coaching is just learning and moving forward and when i say moving forward it just doesn't have to be giant steps it could just be small baby steps that is taking you forward be it in any form coaching uh, can be executive business or any other form of it it is the introspection or the inner discovery that makes coaching so productive being a life coach means you are partnering with someone to unlock their true potential be it on the personal or the professional front so when i work with a client i am their thinking partner i am their accountability partner 
and this is a huge responsibility and it just amazes me to think of the level of trust and confidence that my clients put in me i feel inspired to help them to greater levels more and more i feel delighted when i uh, enable someone to liberate themselves it has been a been an exciting journey so far and a very satisfying one and i'm hoping that it will evolve into something that i can make a best out of i uh, don't really believe in following footsteps because uh, everyone's journey is unique and it's got so many learnings in it so there's definitely something to learn from everyone's experience and i believe that this is this intention will only grow stronger as i proceed along my journey i stand for my firm beliefs that uh have been an outcome of years of self reflection and discovery if i may say that and if there were there were a path to follow i would urge my fellow practitioners to have their moral and ethical compass in check so that they can cultivate a trustworthy relationship with their clients this is wonderful so why don't you share with us about your social initiatives let's hear uh, the niche i'm passionate about self care stems from the fact that my son has gone through an ordeal and that is something that no mother can wish for i have strived to bring solace through my interactions with relatives of other patients that i bumped bumped into while my son was undergoing treatment while the world is definitely a happy place in the making it's important to understand and empathize with the pain and suffering that people have I have a role to play in helping people pivot this into a sense of purpose like I did thereby helping them discover their strengths in dealing with the impossible because life can be hard life is hard but we have solutions and solution providers with us all the time so this is wonderful listening to some heartwarming life stories only on rama rashi foundation's platform the best way to learn the hard lessons talking to people taking their services so in case you want some help some practical knowledge on dealing and handling kids who are facing some challenges in their life talk to gayatri i think she has some amazing stories to share and those stories are just not just stories there are solutions which will help you fight those challenges gayatri aapka bahut bahut thanks ek kiya Thank you Rashi and thank you so much for having me with you.